my working methods were quite strange because I would travel with my objects and uh, do all kinds of things outside of the exhibition spaces. Uh, the objects I make, they're more like research tools. They're not really like uh, sculptures which you just put into an exhibition space. But there's always uh, something happening as a kind of a life encounter between people and things. Ten overstaan voor alle hier aanwezig. Kaptafelwendel. Nemen tot je man. Ja, veel. Many people know me because of the marriage with the cupboards. Uh, that's also why I have this second name, Droge Wendel. Wendel is the factory that manufactured the, the cupboard. And I choose to, to have a relationship with an object which is like of mutual love or mutual growth, so that it's not this one-sided thing that it only has to please you, but that you somehow together f f make a choice to stay together. And it's not only about the beauty of the thing, but it's also your attitude with the object. I, I really uh, enjoy traveling, especially that I'm able to travel as it was uh, with my work and do new work on the roads. That's something uh, um, I can do, like I don't need this studio necessarily. So I've done, done a lot of works which were just on the side of the road at the bus stop or Kenya, Tanzania, this kind of places or working in Africa especially. That was really fascinating for me. And um, yeah, and that, that that I am a different person at every place, but also that my work is completely different. That the, the surrounding really produces the work in a in a new way each time. Yeah, when I was making the black ball, I really wanted to have uh, like a uh, something like a big movable black hole or something like that. And it's made from black wool, so it, it just absorbs the light. When you roll with it, at, especially at night through the streets, it's, uh, it's just this big mess of black which excites people. And you cannot imagine what happens with it. Like businessmen, for instance, they, they really seem to like to get overrolled by black balls. So it's... it's um, it's exciting because it's also a bit dangerous and it's really attracting people. So it, it works in all kinds of different um, contexts because it doesn't really say so much. It's more an absorbing object than an object that tells you what it is or what it wants to be. And I think that makes it exciting. I'm of course really happy about the prize and it's uh, I think it's a, it's really an honor because it's uh, it's an oeuvre prize. It's not uh, one work that gets uh, a prize. And also, if you look at the at the jury and the other prize winners, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm really happy to be among that list. So uh, I'm quite proud of that. And also, I was uh, for the last years working on something which is maybe not so easy to realize. Like uh, I'm working on a project which I call Think Tank, which is a kind of a building. And uh, I think in that sense, the prize really will help me to push that project further and to, to push the design further and to maybe even get it realized and to publish about it and to get people to uh, support this uh, larger project. So I think that's, uh, in that sense, uh, it's uh, coming at the, at the good time, I think, the prize.